Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty with another episode of Affordably Cooking. Today we're going to be looking at this. Ooh. Ooh, let's see if I can lift it up. Ah. $5 fruit box that I got from Flash Food. I will link down below my video all about Flash Food and how you can save a lot of money grocery shopping with them if you want to go check that out. Uh, my referral link will also be down there too if you're so interested. It's $5 off your first, your if your first purchase is $10 or more, which is super easy. So I'm going to take some of the veg in here and I'm going to make one of my favorite go-to recipes um, to really basically make both my children happy and save money versus how much the store-bought stuff is. Um, yeah, so we are going to make some slightly bruised applesauce. Okay, if you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft and cooking dollar <laughs> and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. Check out this towel that I snagged at Hobby Lobby Clarence. It says, cooking makes me happy, yarn makes me happier. <gasps> Perfection. Thank you for that, Clarence Hobby Lobby. Okay, I will link down below also all the equipment that I like to use normally and what I'm using today. And I am gonna turn you around so we can check this out. Okay, let's talk about the tools we need for our uh, for our bruised applesauce. So I need a cutting board. I need my favorite peeler, my OXO peeler. So comfortable. Link down below if you wanna pick up one of those bad boys. My Henkel's chef knife. Let's talk about the crock pot for a second. If you are going to invest in a crock pot, I highly, highly suggest getting an oval one if you get a round one, not all roasts will fit in this, especially corned beef and pot roasts. So if you are going to invest in a crock pot, you don't have one already, I highly suggest an oval one. I will link down below if you want to see the one that I have. It's my crock pot. It also has on the dial low, high, and warm. I find that function very important. So we're going to get going peeling and chopping up these veg. Give me a minute. Okay, so I've peeled all my apples. If you want to, you can leave the skins on when you make this applesauce, but I have picky children and they're not, ha they're not having that. This can go in the compost um, or some other place. If you have an awesome place to put apple peels, let me know down below what you would do with these apple peels. So this is five apples. This is not that full, guys. Here is my last Granny Smith, and I'm gonna cut it and then show you how big I did the pieces going to do we're going to cut them about this big and honestly these do not have to be uniform and totally perfect they're going in a crock pot you're going to mash them up at the end this is not the time to be frou-frou about it um if you want to have cinnamon applesauce which my kids also hate of course you can use for six apples i would use a half or a full teaspoon of cinnamon depending on how cinnamony you like it I just do a little ch -ch -ch on mine because I like cinnamon, but the other people in the house don't. Or if you have cinnamon sticks laying around, like maybe you did a fall or Christmas project with them and you just have these cinnamon sticks, you can take two of them and put them in the bottom of that crock pot <clears throat> and fish them out afterwards and then you'll have cinnamon applesauce. So yeah, I'm gonna keep cutting these up, almost done, and then I'm gonna show you what else I put in that pot. If you wanna have sweetened applesauce, you can put between a fourth and a half cup of sugar in there if you want to. I generally make my applesauce unsweetened. Whatever kind of sugar you like to use, whether that's cane sugar or regular sugar or whatnot. I'm um, gonna finish cutting these up. Doesn't matter if they're all the same size or not. So here we have this and I'll be back in a second. Now I'm gonna put a half cup of water in here. This is when you would add your cinnamon or sugar if you so desire. I'm gonna put a lid on that. You can either do high for four hours or low for eight hours. I'm gonna do low for eight hours since I, it's just gonna work better for my schedule. And I will show you what it looks like after that time. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Oh, see you guys in eight hours. <laughs> 
This is what we look like after eight hours on low in the crock pot, our slightly bruised applesauce. And now we're gonna take my handy dandy potato masher and make this smaller. And it's okay if you have extra liquid, it'll all work out. It all tastes yumbo. So we're gonna mash it up and then we'll, I let it completely cool before I put it into the fridge so we don't have any yuckies growing in our applesauce that are uninvited guests at our dinner party. Please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn to be affordably crafty too. Let me know what you think of this recipe. Let me know if you make yours differently. Super simple, super easy way to use up that bruised produce. Have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.